Hello, hey everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waiwa, Hawaii, and welcome to Monday Talk Story Time. Before I get into uh, the Talk Story Time, I wanted to uh, keep you folks posted on the updating of my stories, uh, Kindle Villa. And right now, we do have a live uh, episode going, uh, live story going on right now. And that is uh, the Shark Man of Hali Iwa. And this is about a child who uh, is born a, a kupua, who is um, part shark and part human. And right now, uh, he we we're at a point where he was just born and uh, trying to find a home for him because his parents rejected him. And um, in the episode three called He Bites, uh, this is the first time where uh, our uh, two-year-old Paul and um, mother Momi meet this baby and for the first time, and Paul, who is a shapeshifter himself, uh, he can transform into an eel, uh, recognizes that this child has abilities, and uh, you need to watch out for his teeth, okay? So um, that's where we're at at the story, and so uh, tomorrow I'll be releasing episode four, which is the last of the free uh, episodes after that i'm going to be releasing uh more of the stories and i hope i hope you folks been enjoying it so far and uh you know if you enjoy reading it pass it on pass a link to your friends and family members and uh you know again this is a hawaiian trying to uh introduce a um you know hawaiian concepts and uh culture to other people to enlighten them okay and so cocoa <laughs> anyway um one of the things that uh for start uh, for my talk story time i wanted to focus on uh is something that uh started off um earlier this week earlier last week i'm sorry i was watching a movie uh, we have a ghost and uh it's about a family that buys a haunted house uh, in Chicago, and when they move in, uh, there's a ghost in there that tries to frighten uh, this this kid that goes up to the attic, and there's a ghost there, and a ghost comes all woo, making all kind of sounds and trying to scare the kid, and the kid sits back and laughs, okay, and just laughs, and the ghost is kind of like. You know, why aren't you scared? Because up until recently, all the people they come out and scare, uh, you know, that way, um, go run screaming from the house. And it, <laughs> when I saw that, I started cracking up because it reminded me of an incident um, at my friend's house, Josie. Um, and uh, she asked us to go over and check her house. And uh, she lives in an apartment in an apartment uh, really close by, uh, close to the stadium uh, that's um, right next to Ice Palace. But she's a medium and there's spirits in and out of her place. And um, so she invited us to go over to take a look at what was happening in in her apartment. And so when I got there, I, I'm very familiar with with uh, Aloha Stadium and the spirits there because, uh, you know, when my son was playing uh, football for Kahuku, we used to go over uh, to the stadium and uh, I know the spirits, especially if you hang around the stadium uh, late at night. Um, there's a lot of spiritual activity in and around the area. So um, when I first got to Josie's place, she lives up on the second floor and I could feel spirits moving in and out in and out then so i went there and walked around the building and um i could see you know people moving even during the day it's so act it was so active over there and i could feel that and so when i when i went inside and uh, she was complaining about a spirit that was upsetting her near her bathroom and so we went and i went into the hallway and in the hallway, they have a uh, washer and dryer. 
And um, as soon as I walked by the washer and dryer, and I took a look up into this space uh, for the washer and dryer, this ghost tried to scare me. And uh, he tried to scare me by appearing like a rotting corpse that was hanging at the end of the uh, hanging at the end of the rope and it was looking like that and uh, eyeballs ready to fall out and just um, just really um, colored and just messed up and so I I uh, kind of backed up and I looked and I started laughing and uh, and inside of me I just say is that the best you can do? <laughs> is that the best you got? Is that the best you got? Good grief. And I'm sitting there and kind of chuckling and laughing. And, and the ghost clang morphed into this old Hawaiian man. And just like put up his hand. And uh, I shake my head and it says, probably if you're trying to scare me, you got to do better than that. <laughs> And uh, so it was. It caught him by surprise that I wasn't scared. Um, and um, you know, my friends, although they can see spirits a lot, I mean, they they are still afraid. And they, you know, when spirits understand that you're afraid, they feed off that kind of stuff, and they keep on showing you things that they're afraid afraid of. So, um, however, for me, um, when I know spirits are deceitful, yeah. Um, especially the ones that want to screw around with you, they're deceitful. They can change their appearance into any form that you want to to evoke fear. But if you respond differently, it throws them off. It just like they're they're at the wits and like, wow, you're not scared of that. <laughs> Bra, grew up on Molokai, seen worse stuff than that. <laughs> yeah so you're gonna have to try better <laughs> and so um you know spirits and and ghosts um you know for for me it it just um whether you're afraid of them or not um that depends how you react to them and um uh, people who are always frightened of ghosts um and don't realize um that uh you know they're getting their kicks, they're getting their jollies off of uh, making you scared and, um, you know, basically taking advantage of you. And for for me, it irritates me with that um, they're trying to do that at my expense. So I turn the tables on them and uh, you can do the same thing. Just accept, um, accept spirits as, uh, you know, real entities and uh, they have the ability to fool and disguise themselves. And uh, once you understand that, um, you, sh you can deal with them uh, in their regular form. Because uh, once this person knew that he wasn't going to um, scare me, he appeared to me as a regular form, which is a pretty decent old Hawaiian man um, that used to live in that area. And uh, he was upset that um, so many people were uh, using his space uh, right. Okay, so um, we were able to help this uh, man come to grips with where he was and what was uh, what the people were doing there. So um, him, our friend Josie still lives in the same place. Uh, the transit spirits keep on going back and forth in the area, but I think um, over time they getting accustomed to it. And uh, if you're not afraid and you don't let them bother you, uh, eventually and stuff, they just met it, mail it, uh, blend into the background and uh, you know disappear from conscious. They they won't even attempt to try and scare you. But if you're running scared all the time, uh, they're going to hound you forever. <laughs> okay. So this is Talk Story Time, and I hope you folks enjoy these stories and share it with others. And um, please check out uh, my Kindle story, uh, The Shrek Man of Haleiwa. There's four episodes, and all four episodes right now are free. So you can download it and uh, watch it, okay? 
Anyway, until next week, this is Dave Wallace from Ottawa, Hawaii. Say mahalo for watching and aloha. Hi. <laughs>